From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Welcome to the Homeland Security Weekly Report. I'm Anna Brooks. Advanced Tactics release a video featuring the Black Knight Transformers' first flying and driving tests. The new unmanned vehicle can fly, drive on the ground, and cross bodies of water depending on its mission. During the test, the vehicle was controlled almost entirely by its automatic pilot, with a backup human pilot only responsible for increasing or decreasing engine output. New York recently hosted a large-scale security drill focused on the new One World Trade Center building. Officers from the NYPD, the Port Authority, Homeland Security and others held an active shooting drill at the nation's tallest tower, its train station and the surrounding streets. Paintball bullets were used instead of real ammunition. The tower's security has been a concern for officials since a teen got to the top of the 104-story building and three people were arrested for parachuting from the building itself. The Katana is Israel's new unmanned combat marine system, capable of supporting a wide variety of homeland security applications, harbor security, patrols, electronic warfare and offshore platform protection. The vessel can operate in both manned and unmanned modes and includes additional features such as advanced payloads, collision avoidance, and more. The Katana was developed by Israel Aerospace Industries. Israel's new line of upgraded payloads incorporate high-definition sensor for day and night surveillance. The new HD sensors are developed by Israel Aerospace Industries. When combined with the laser designators, the sensors can be used for targeting, accurate geolocation and wide area scanning, surveillance and rescue missions. According to the U.S. government statistics, despite years of action to counter its growth, terrorism is on the rise. The world was victim to almost 10,000 terrorist attacks in 2013, resulting in more than 17,000 deaths and over 32,000 injuries. In addition, almost 3,000 people were kidnapped or taken hostage. Although terrorist attacks occurred in 93 different countries in 2013, they were heavily concentrated geographically. More than half of the attacks occurred in three countries, Iraq, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Thank you for watching our weekly report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.